What's up everybody? This is Jeff Bernard with Solve Systems and today we're going to go over how to get your HMS Networks Flexi 205 Industrial IoT Router connected to Microsoft Azure IoT Hub and communicating via MQTT protocol. That's a lot of words and that may seem complicated but it's really not. So we're going to dive in right now on how to do that. Let's go today is based on this thread on the EO1 Tech Forum. Uh, the link to that is techforum.eo1.biz forward slash thread dash 786.html. And so there's some basic code here that we're going to run on the EO1 and then there's all of this other information on how to generate our device. So we are going to firstly open up our Azure IoT Hub we're going to make sure that you have your environment set up and so what that looks like is a test I made a tester hub that's just the name I made for it and then we'll scroll down to devices and open up our device panel we'll click new and then we'll leave that there for a second we'll go back to the forum and then we'll click on this link right here entitled Ilwan Support Biz forward slash our Azure Helper. Okay, we Flexi, we'll name this Tester Flexi. Let's just make it Test Flexi. Make it easy. We will click Generate and then we will click the zip file this zip file will add it to here and then we will X this out we will scroll down some more and we will get the Baltimore cyber trust root zip all you have to do is click on that it will download that as well okay so we have our Baltimore cyber trust root downloaded and we have our test flexi file downloaded uh, as well so what we're gonna do here is extract them and then just make this easy we will send it to the desktop. We'll extract that there. Okay, and then we'll extract the Flexi information as well. And send that to the desktop. Extract. And there we have everything nice and neat. So what we're gonna wanna do is navigate to the cert file. Let's firstly rename them so test flexi and you want it in the same format as your file name with an Azure or your device name rather because if you don't then it may cause some error and we just want to reduce the amounts of potential errors that we have okay so we renamed both of those and then we're going to right click on the security certificate file and we're going to open with crypto shell once we open it we'll navigate to details we'll scroll to the bottom and this is what we are after we're after our thumbprint we're going to copy the thumbprint we'll go back to our IOT hub and then we'll name our device test Flexi. We'll self sign. Remember to uh, x dot five oh nine. We'll give it those credentials, and then we will hit save. So we'll see it pop up here, and it's, we're all good on that end. So that's all we have to do there. We'll also have FileZilla open or your FTP uh, site and we will click into our user directory these are some old files that I had so we'll take those out and then we will navigate back to our desktop and we'll simply take those files we'll highlight them all and we'll drag them in here and you'll see the files have successfully ended up on our Flexi. Pretty neat.
so now that we have that set up we're going to navigate back to our page okay we're gonna copy all of this code and then we'll navigate to our flexi interface now as you can see here all I did was I went to int section within the basic IDE I copied and pasted the basic code okay now once it's there you'll see device ID it'll be the first thing under configuration you'll give it the same name as the device within your Azure IoT hub which can be seen here test flexi and then tester that's the name of your environment your IoT hub as a whole okay so we have device ID IoT hub name and that's it we will click run then we'll navigate to values and we have one string value that I created here we'll click setup we'll look at those parameters real quick and this is just for testing purposes keep in mind once you have your solution set up on your flexi you'll have all of your tags here and so those will be what's streaming to uh, the IOT hub and so we have this set to STR just simple name we gave it an integer value and we'll just click tag update make sure that's there and then we will undo setup click view again and then we will hit 12 simple number we'll click enter we'll click apply and then we will see right here that we have some messages so we'll go back and we will navigate back to our dashboard and to our IoT hub as a whole and then we'll see our messages are being sent our device is being replicated in device twin operations so we'll see that nice and pretty graph here and then we'll see our messages and we can see the intervals at which they're sent now you can't see like the data streaming that's another separate service but this is indeed sending messages from our Flexi 205 to Azure Cloud. So I hope that was helpful. I hope uh, you understood this and let me know if you need help implementing the solutions. You can contact me at uh, on this YouTube channel and or at jeff at solvesystems.com or on my website solvesystems.com. So hope this helped and we'll talk to you later. Have a good one.